Getting started in the two yards of canvas, denim or twill, and two yards of lining. And we're going to be using a soft twill for the lining. Two yards of one inch webbing. One and a half yards of cord. Two one inch strap adjusters. One cord stop. 8 to 10 half inch eyelets and lastly you need your pattern and this pattern is available at profitfitclothing.com super easy to use just download it print it and you're ready to go and the links for all the supplies will be in the description so definitely go check that out After cutting out your pattern, you're going to want one side panel, one back panel, and one front main panel, and you're going to want lining for all these layers. One drawstring panel, four bottom strap panels, two strap panels, and two pocket panels. All right, getting started, grab both your pocket panels and place right sides together, and what we're going to do is sew along the outside edge at a quarter inch seam allowance, but leave the bottom open. Go ahead and flip the right side out and what we're going to do is add a top stitch all the way around the outside edge, but not on the bottom. Grab the outer main panel, fold it open, and what you can do is place that pocket in the center bottom of that panel. Pin that into position and we're going to sew just the sides of that pocket. And I recommend doing a few back stitches at the top of the pocket to give it extra strength for when you put stuff in it. And we're going to be adding rivets on the corners of those pockets to give it even more strength. And you can totally skip this step if you don't have rivets, but all you have to do is make holes in the top corners of your pocket and go ahead and insert your rivet and press it into place. And they also add for a pretty cool look. Next, we're going to make in the strap. So go ahead and grab one of your strap panels, fold it in half the long ways, and sew across that edge. Then grab four and a half inches of webbing and your strap adjuster, feed it through the back of your strap adjuster, and then place it on the inside of that strap. And you're going to want to line it up directly in the center of that panel. Leave about a quarter inch of that webbing sticking out at the top. And once you have it in position, go ahead and sew along that edge. And now we're going to take a piece of foam and sew it onto that seam allowance. And the foam should be cut exactly the same size as the strap and have it extend out just a little bit past. This is going to make it easy to keep that foam into position as you pull the right side of that strap out. And once it's attached, go ahead and flip the right side of that strap out. And if you don't have foam, you can totally skip this step. You don't need it. It's just going to add a little extra comfort on those straps. Next, we're going to add a top stitch across the bottom edge of that strap. And then for the last stitch, we're going to go directly down the center of that strap. Then go ahead and repeat this process for the other strap. Grab your bottom strap panels in about 17 inches of one inch webbing and cut two of those strips. Place the right sides together and make sure that it's the right direction on where you're going to place your webbing. Then go ahead and place your webbing in between those panels. 
And once you have it about a quarter inch up from the bottom of that panel, what you're going to do is sew along the outside edge. And I'd recommend pinning it on to keep it into position as you sew. Flip the right side out and add a top stitch along the outside edge. And then again, go ahead and repeat this process for the other bottom strap. Grab your back panel and mark one inch in from the side and one inch from the bottom on both sides. And starting off, we're gonna place the straps on the one inch mark at the top on the inside of that mark. Pin the straps on and then grab an eight inch piece of webbing and place it on the inside edge of both of those straps. I should do. Now grab your bottom straps and we're going to place them above that one inch marking at the bottom of that back panel. And once everything's pinned down, we're going to sew as close as we can to the outside edge on the top and on both of the sides. Take that back panel and grab your main panel and line up the side seams with right sides together, pin it, and do the same for the other side. And we're gonna go ahead and sew both of those seams at a quarter inch. Reach the wizard. Grab the side panel and on the bottom opening, you're gonna to wanna to place it in there and pin all the way around the outside edge. And once you have it pinned into position, go ahead and sew all the way around that outside edge. Reach the wizard. And then go ahead and pull the right side out and do a double check, make sure that all the seams are sewn together and there's no gaps. Next up is to grab your lining, the main panel and the back panel, and we're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna pin the sides together and sew along those edges. And again, grab the side panel lining and pin it along the bottom edge. And the biggest difference is don't sew all the way around and connect the seam. We're gonna leave an opening so that way we can pull the right side of the bag out through that opening. And make sure the gap is long enough so it can fit the bag. Grab your drawstring panel and place the right sides together and sew that short edge. And once you have it sewn, we're gonna go ahead and roll it over in half with wrong sides together and sew as close as you can to the outside edge. Grab your outer layer and that drawstring panel that you just made and place it along the top edge of that outer layer. Pin it into place and what we're gonna do next is take that lining and place the outer layer on the inside of that lining so that way the right sides are touching. Line up the side seams and pin it all the way around the outside edge at the top. And once it's lined up and you have it pinned on, go ahead and sew all the way around the outside edge. Wonderful. 
and go ahead and trim anything off the top like the foam and what you're gonna do now is pull it out through that hole in the bottom of the lining. And to seal off the hole in the bottom, we're gonna go ahead and fold those edges in on each other, pin it down, and sew across that edge. And now that the hole is sealed, we go ahead and push that lining towards the inside of the bag. And with the lining in the bag, we're gonna go ahead and add a top stitch all the way around the outside edge, just below that drawstring panel. And I recommend moving the strap panels up and sewing under them. Now we're gonna be adding the eyelets to the drawstring panel. And we are gonna be adding eight, so we're gonna add them at the front and back, sides, and in between those markings but you can totally add as many as you like. Once you have your markings, go ahead and make your holes and place your eyelets inside of the holes. Then place the backing on. And we're gonna be using a hammer die and all you have to do is place it on the back of the eyelet and hammer it into place. and then go ahead and do it for all the other markings. Next, go ahead and grab your drawstring and feed it through. If you have an even number of holes, it's not gonna come out at the same point, so I recommend doing an odd number of eyelets, but I did find a way to fix this problem if you did end up with an even number of eyelets. So what you're gonna do is make a knot in the center of your cord and maybe a double knot so it doesn't go through that eyelet and then feed it through the back eyelet, both of the ends, and then feed them through all the way up to the front. And then go ahead and add your cord stepper on and your drawstring top is done. And to finish off the straps, we're gonna go ahead and grab the bottom strap and feed it through that strap adjuster from the back and then up to the front. And once you have that strap fed through, go ahead and roll that edge over twice to clean up that raw edge and sew across. And go ahead and repeat this process to the other strap. And there you have it, your bag is complete. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment. We're gonna keep the videos coming at you, so we'll see you next time.